Hello to all my sweet children. How are you today? Hope you are doing fine and thank you for joining. This is what we are going to make today. It's a Chinese lantern. Quite easy to make. So you can use any patterned paper, even a wrapping paper or something that is plain is fine. So all we need is that it's a square piece of paper. Shall we make it? Right. Now I have selected a plain paper. So there are two colors on my paper because it's easier to show you the folding techniques or the folding lines. Right. So if you can't find them, don't worry about it. You can use whatever paper you have at home. So just watch the folding technique properly and that will be enough. You don't need to worry about the paper. So you have to try to make this because you will feel very glad that you made it by yourself. So let's start making this. Now we have to fold the paper like this so that you get a rectangular shape. So until all the corners are aligned, that means all the corners come on top of each other, don't press. Origami cannot be done if you are in a hurry. So you have to be patient. Now open it up. Now this edge comes to the middle line. Right, and do the same thing on the other side in a bit. Like I told you, the other side also, we are going to fold it like that. Now, what you have to do is bring this corner to somewhere in the middle, but not to the very middle. Fold it to a certain extent only. Now, the two lines should be straight. We are going to do the same thing on the other side. There's a triangle on this side too. Now do the same thing on the other side as well. Make sure that the lines are straight, that everything is the same size. Okay, now we are going to fold it in like this because we need the line only and then fold it backwards. Now the same thing on the other side. Make a folding line and then fold it backwards. Okay, now this corner you need to see now this is what we have. So the other side fold this corner slightly into the middle so that you have a triangle. Same thing on the other side. Make sure they are both the same size. Do the same thing now on the other side as well. You have to be careful not to tear and like I said, don't rush through it. Now we have three triangles like that. Now turn it around like this and can you see that there is a shape like that here. So what we are going to do is there's a little flap sort of a thing, a pocket sort of a thing on the two sides. So open it up while folding this little piece up okay so that you get a rectangle a very long thin rectangle right this will look like this on the other side and doing the same thing open the two pockets okay and press the two sides in so that you get a long thin rectangle and then press it down. See? 
our Chinese lantern is complete. Pretty, isn't it? Right, if you use a plain colored uh, paper, you can make patterns on it by drawing on it, like what I'm doing here. I'm drawing circles on it and little wavy lines. Or we can paste different uh, shapes like stars and other sort of stickers. So we can decorate whatever in whichever we like. So now I feel that we should have a string going through it so that we can also hang it. I'm also going to take some double-sided tape and paste them. Two small uh, pieces, paste them on the back of the Chinese lantern. Now the string, we can paste it on top of the double-sided tape. Then the piece you removed earlier, we can stick it on again so that this piece doesn't go sticking everywhere else. Right, now turn it around and see. Look how beautiful it is, our Chinese lantern. Wasn't it fun and easy to make? Take lots of wrapping paper or colored paper to make this, the Chinese lantern. Then I'll see you soon. Goodbye.